As you know, uh, technology has reinvented retail and this chap here has really changed the whole world of retail and every brand and every retailer on the planet has to worry about this guy. This guy has the best supply chain, he has the cheapest prices, he has customized homepage. This is extremely difficult for retailers to beat. But they can and they will survive and one of the ways they will do that is by adapting where we are admitting that we have to agree that dreaming is what leads to innovation. So here we have Aldi in Australia, the supermarket, and they have been incredibly clever with an app similar to the Aptamil in that it is incredibly useful. If you have kids, what is one of the biggest problems with feeding them? It is thinking, what do we put in their lunch boxes? So this allows you to go online, set up a profile for each kid, import what do they like, what do they hate, and it does a nutritionally balanced meal plan for the week and tells you what to buy. This is a perfect example of how the consumer is now expecting to receive a personalized experience. And we've just covered uh, an app that's been designed for Google Glass before it's out called Glashon, G-L-A-S-H-I-O-N. I suppose it's glamour fashion. And it's designed so that you can look through a wearable device on your face, whether it be Google Glass or something else, and you could tell it, you could say, OK, Glass, take a photo. And it would take a photo of a dress that a woman here is wearing. And it will then scour the internet to find that dress and buy it for you. Or a dress that looks exactly like that, but is cheaper. And that's not a new thing. Snap Fashion has been doing that now for, for a year or so. So when you start to understand what wearable technology will do for retail, people, I think, will start to adopt. I really do think that uh, it's much more interesting than people realize. This is a concept which isn't out yet commercially, but it's come out of uh, New York. A design agency there called Breakfast have created a piece of signage which swings round and points at different things according to who is standing in front of it. So imagine having that in a department store or an airport where it's so personalised. Signage personalises itself to you individually. That is where we're going. I just want to uh, alight briefly on the Internet of Things, which uh, some people are very familiar with. To other people it's a completely new term. What it essentially is about is the connectivity between objects and the internet. And why does that matter for shopping lists that write themselves, you might be asking yourself? Well, it's because of that old classic that's been knocking around for years, which people thought, what's all this about? Fridges, talking to the internet to then order your food. Well, it's been a way off and now it's much closer because your fridge could easily be talking to your supermarket based on the sensors within it in order to tell you that you're out of milk. That's why it's relevant. It's a human business legacy we want to leave behind us.